let the comments in, I think it was two videos ago, because people thought I was gonna spill my tea. Let it be known, well you never spill a drop. I always have a cup of tea before I sit down and do an intro because I feel like I'm having a chat with you, so I need a cup of tea. That's why I, I do have it, a cup of tea. Welcome back to this week's video. I have a satisfying, some before and afters. Basically last year I did a video and it was just tackling odd jobs around the house and you guys found it, well, you found it enjoyable but also relatable because you too had lists of things that you needed to tackle around the house and I am the same and I still have things I probably need to do around the house but it's those things that I'm like, Oh, for the longest time I wanted to paint that, clean that, fix that, but I just put it on the long finger. I'm gonna put timestamps in the like description. If you're on mobile, I think you can just scroll down and you'll see the timestamps. So if you wanna skip ahead, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. If you're new to my channel, please do hit the subscribe button, check out my recent videos, and welcome to the community. The first job on our list today is tackling my windowsill. I cannot be the only one who has a bit of a scaldy windowsill in their kitchen. So a lot of the stains on this is from tea bags actually, because I have a little pot that I put tea bags in. And then also Blondie, because she comes in and out the window, and then just wear and tear. So we're gonna give it a good clean. I'm also with Blondie's assistance, gonna clean the window and the blind while I'm there. So like the window isn't too bad, but it's the UPVC frame that is just a bit scaldy. Um, again, from like just wear and tear and Blondie going in and out. And then for the window sill itself, I'm just gonna lightly sand away any of the scuffed areas. I'm gonna give it, <laughs> I'm laughing at Blondie. She's like, you missed a spot. And then I'm going to put on some primer just to block any stains and then I'm going to give it two coats of satin wood and the colour is Arctic Blonde by Colour Trend and then that will give the kitchen window a bit of a zhuzh. <laughs> Next up on my list of things to do is change my key. I had a spare key go missing in my house, so just for peace of mind, I'm changing the locks. And if you see that little screw underneath the um, lock, that is the screw you loosen to take your barrel out. Now, when I watch videos, 
people are able to get the barrel out without taking the handle off I have to loosen my handle to kind of jig it out but basically take your barrel out and then you're gonna have to measure your barrel because there's a couple of different depths and sizes so just measure it pop it back in go to the shop buy your barrel and I got myself a nice anti-theft or theft prevention high security barrel so you just pop it in and then just assemble your door back together so you just screw on your handle and then just make sure to make make sure you put it on nice and secure and also change your keys so throw away your spare keys with the old barrel and put your new key with your nice little pretty key ring and you're good to go this is a simple job you can obviously get a call out but you can do it yourself handy enough Next on my list, I had a tiny leak from a nut on the radiator and it was like a tiny dribble every morning but I wanted to just have a shot at fixing it myself. So I picked up this product on Amazon and you just, I'm putting it around the thread of the nut, is that what it is? Um, just to prevent the leak and save myself on a call out. Obviously if you have, if you're getting much more water on the leak, get a professional to look at that. But I could see where this was coming from and it was like the bolt, I had tightened it, but it was just getting some drips. So I popped this around it and it has worked so far. Another job. So if you've seen like any of my Christmas videos, you know I have to get up and down to the attic, but as you can see, it's looking very grimy. And this is the last bit of orange pine in my house. My whole house had skirting boards in this color. So this has been on my list for ages. So the door panel to get in, that was painted in ceiling paint, which was matte, which is why there's loads of black sooty ball prints on it. And the frame as well, I'm going to clean it, sand it, prime it, paint it. Same shade Arctic Blonde by Colour Trend, and then put it all back together. And this is the last bit of orange pine. I have officially eradicated the orange pine skirting boards. So no shame in the cleaning game. Look how filthy this blind is. So if you have cats, you'll notice there'll be corners in your house where I think it's just dirt from their fur, but Blondie climbs out this window and this blind, I won't lie to you, I couldn't tell you the last time I cleaned this. So I'm using some crud cutter, but also vinegar and water I have been using in a spray bottle with some essential oils to clean the blinds because the dust was thick on them. No shame, no judgment. Let me know if you two have these. So it took me about half an hour to clean the blind, like the whole thing, and then I tackled the window. Now. I cleaned the inside of the window probably in winter time. So the spiders had moved in. I don't know how it got that filthy, but the window, 
yes, you're going to see in a minute, I've got the cobwebs on the, the PVC frame. So I just gave it a good clean and it feels so good tackling little jobs like that. Um, because I can now look out my window and not be cringing. Oh, look at all that dirt. But it is now clean. Last night I used this like no heat snake thing. I don't know how to describe it. It's a thing you stick on your head and you wrap your hair around it and you just like, it. it's like a wire in it, but it's spongy and silky. I don't know, I paid like a tenner for it. I buy it and I see it on the internet. But my hair is huge today. I'm all about that no heat, go to bed with your hair and plaits vibe because of like the effort. Like it would take me hours to curl my hair like this. But it, I feel like I'm, I'm all hair today, ladies. I'm all hair. So I hope you don't judge me harshly for my filthy Venetian blinds. But if you find yourself, because they were the one things I'd look at them and be like, oh my God, how am I gonna clean these? But actually what I've done, I've got two left to do. All week I've just been going around and I'll do one window a day um because you're not going around not that you're wasting a day but we've got other stuff we need to do in our days and i would just take 20 minutes pop on some music clean the blind and thankfully if i maintained them now with a little duster um i shouldn't have to let them get that bad and do it like that i should when I'm cleaning the inside of the window, just dust the blind. The problem I had was, I couldn't tell you the last time I actually cleaned the blinds. So the dust was like thick. Your girl has thick dust. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section, what is the one job that you have been putting off in your house? For me, I think it was that skirt and board. Every time I get up to the attic, that in and out, I'm like, Ugh. and now I'm just like looking at it. It's perfectly freshly painted white and I'm like, see, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> My problem is I just pick fun jobs over the ones that need to be done. So I'll rather go out and cut the grass or like paint a piece of furniture than actually do the fiddly things I don't wanna do. Relatable. <laughs> also, quick book update. I'm so excited. Um, it's gone to print and hopefully, so the month of March is going to be printing away. The final check was done last week and it was like a technical check. So I think they had to change a font or something, which I found so fascinating because like I just when it comes to design and stuff. So yeah, that was like one little thing they had to change, but everything else I think it's good to go. It's been proofread by like everybody. Um, I even gave it to one of my friends who, she's not crafty and she was like, as your non-crafty friend, I am reading this and I'm like, I could totally do that, which is the kind of feedback I want. So it's gone to print and I think I will get the first advanced copies early April. Then it's obviously released in Ireland in May. So what happens then in April is I have a day where I get to go to a huge warehouse where they keep like most of the books and I get to sign copies. And then I also got a message that hopefully 
um, in-person book signings may be able to happen. So I'm, I have no kind of confirmation on dates, but if you wanna keep up to date, you can just follow me on Instagram, but I will put it in a video. I just wanna have a solid kind of date, um, but I can post it here as well um, to the community. Uh, yeah, when I have dates. So I think the interest was like a Dublin date for a signing, um, Galway, Cork, Limerick, possibly Waterford, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for summer because I'll just get to drive around Ireland and doing some signings and actually meeting and chatting with people because girl, I've been locked in here the past two years. I want to meet some people. And then the book is for Canada and US and I think Australia is July because you guys can order. You can order from the Irish booksellers. They do ship internationally and you will get it in May. Um, but for like, if you're buying off, I think amazon.com and Barnes and Noble, it's a July release date and it will be in shops um, overseas in July. And I have no idea about signings over there just yet. I would love to do one. Um, obviously it depends on budgets um, but I would love to go and even like do one or two um, in some locations but in Ireland absolutely because I can just hop in the car and drive over the other side to the island and do a signing. I can't wait because I'll get to see parts of Ireland that I haven't gotten to see and I can do the sign-ins, chat with people and then I can go to the cute pubs afterwards, maybe a bit of sightseeing and then yeah so I am excited to see that. It won't really be work, it'll actually just be fun. <laughs> so I'm buzzing for that. So that is me for this week. I will see you all in next week's video. Cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed this and have a great weekend.